Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm back, and today we are on the back nine of Carson Newman. If you haven't watched the front nine yet, I do that. But if you're not going to, slap them. We're here on hole 10, 210 feet par three. I'm gonna go with the forehand Zona West. Come back. I'll put from minus five, baby. Here on hole 11, 270 feet, par three. This is a backhand turnover around these trees to the right. We we'll go with a watt. That is like really long. Got like a 25, 30 foot tester putt. Let's go. Yeah. We're here on hole 12, 234 feet, par three. You have three options here. You can go left side, middle, or the right side. And I usually go the left side on the forehand, but I'm gonna try to go backhand down the middle with the watt. I like it. Ear. I try to miss. Hole 13, 267 feet, par three. You have two options here. You can go left side of the group of trees or the right side. I'm gonna go back and down the right side with the aftershock. Sweet. I forgot to mention the creek does run left side here and it's very easy to go be into the water if you get a bad kick off the group of trees down the middle. Heard that. Hole 14. 261 feet par three. This is dead straight and the basket is just up on that mound. The shot's from my buddy Blake Lawson. Envy. Oh. This is totally legal. Hard. Hole 15, 246 feet par three. Basket is just straight ahead. You got a couple trees on the left. Go back in with the other shock again. Oh no. That is terrible. Come on. No. Hole 16, 303 feet, par three. This hole is a little bit to the right. Off the tee, people like to go with the backhand turnover, but I'm going to go with the forehand with the force. Sweet. We're almost done, hole 17, 219 feet par three. It's very short and downhill. You can't really see the basket from here, but it's very tricky. And I'm gonna go with the bite on a back end. Ah. Hello, buddy. This would be such a cool putt to hit on camera. Please do it. Uh, don't roll. Rip. There we go. No bogeys today, folks. Finally made it to hole 18 at Carson Newman. 336 feet, par 3. It's dead straight. You have the creek running on the left side. And you also have some room to work with on the right side. And without further ado, we're going to ace. With the DGA aftershock. Oh, no. I put it on the pole, though. That was sick. Nice. We're finished. We completed the whole course, and it was a lot of fun. I definitely recommend this course to literally anyone, no matter your arm speed or your play style. It's a good open course with some wooded shots. There's a lot of straight shots as well. You have a beautiful scenery with a water creek as well as the trees, and it's very quiet here. There's a lot of nice people here as well that walk through the area. The only downside is though, is the walk between hole 14 to hole 15. It is very long and exhausting. And especially with the uphill walk at the end, it's just very annoying, but it isn't too bad. And you can also even start on hole 15 and play 15 through 18, and then go back to one and play from one all the way up to 14. So that way the long walk is just from hole 14 to your car. 
if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy my videos and thank you so much for 2000 subscribers too. It means a lot to me and your support just by watching my channel and watching the work I put in on editing and coming out here and filming. It means a lot to me as well. And uh, let's see you on the next one guys. See ya. Yeah.